from my perfect draft and it's Francis Scanner Weissbier a German Hefeweizen oh yeah I think I've had this from a bottle last October first my October first t-shirt but the first time I've had it on draft so it looks, well, it looks the same as far as I can remember. It's that cloudy, hazy, light amber, would you say? Toffee colour. It's got, it's been sitting a while because it comes out cold out there, three Celsius, your PD. So I was trying to get to about six Celsius, let's see. It thinks it's 10. No, it's not. It's still cold. Because I just topped it up. So. Although, I've just, what I've done is I poured some into another glass to top it up to try and keep it at the same temperature. It's not what, it is still very chill. Anyway. It's not got much ahead now, but it does pour a nice uh, inch and a half uh, creamy foam. So it's hazy, as I say. The colour is probably a light amber. It's very nice looking uh, beer. So let's get a wee nose on it. It's not, not a room to swirl, so. Yeah, so you can. It's the classic Hefeweizen. It's, it's banana and clove. I think this is like the, the standard for vice beers. Don't quote me on that. I'm just. I probably just made that up. I don't know. Maybe I've read it somewhere. Anyway, let's get into it and see what it's like. Cheers, my dears. That's very nice. It's actually quite light bodied. Not watery, but it's, it's light bodied. There's a, a very slight bitterness I'm getting there as well at the back. But the predominant thing is the, the ripe banana and that spiciness from the cloves. There's a certain fruitiness about it as well. I couldn't describe which fruits, but there is a wee, I don't know what you would say, a hoppy fruitiness. <laughs> That's really accurate, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have a look online. We'll see what I can learn. Okay. So it's called Francis Garner Premium Vice Beer Naturtrube. It's like natural yeast or something. I think trub is the, the, the trub, the trub when, the, when you make beer is like the, the the waste product from the yeast, the yeast poop as they call it. So I think trub is like the yeast poop. I don't know. I'll put that in if we can find it anyway. So it's it's made by the big Spaten Franziskaner Luvenbroi Group in Munich in Bavaria, Bayern, Germany. French check-ins. Oh, it's 5% ABV. 
with 12 IBU. So there is a, a very, very slight bitterness which just adds to it, balances it out. Uh, I have rated this before on the ball. I've given it 4.4. Friends check in 11 with an average of 3.84. Everyone else is 360,000 almost with 3.7. So style guide is wheat beer and it's all in German. So, so a natural and elegant vice beer from Bavaria. The, uh, kind of, uh, fruit, the harmony of fruit and banana. Uh, my German's very limited. Anyway, the the descriptors are smooth, light banana, sweet, fruity. It is smooth. It's, it is a smooth drink. I don't know if it's sweet. There's a very, there is a slight malty sweetness, a bready sweetness. But I wouldn't describe it as a sweet beer. I think I have a problem with that way. Describing things as sweet beers. Beers, a lot of beer, most beers aren't sweet to me. Right, so what am I going to give this? So I'm giving it 8.8 .8 the last time. I think that's a fair score. Uh, yeah, I'll, st I'll stick with that. I was still going to give it as high as that because having compared it to other wheat beers, I don't think it's the best one. I've had better. I've still to have the Frankie Royal. I've got that keg. I don't know if I'll put that up next. I might do. I've got loads of kegs to get through. So I have had better. But this is top notch. It's, it's, it's the standard by which other wheat beers are judged. Something. But I don't think it's the best. Anyway, you may disagree. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears.